one time I was scrolling through Instagram this girl had posted a picture and the hand had a ring on it and I said Ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of how I found out I was a side chick. I need a drink. I need a drink. <laughs> hey, let's go to be a side chick. I won't lie. Ah! Just cut the power, Franklin. What are you? So, guys, this this nigga just cut our power. But anyway. All the sisters, all the brothers, all the cousins, log off. <laughs> Cancel this video. Don't watch it. Don't watch this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lombe again and I'm back with another banging video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Lombe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notification bell so that you're informed every single time I upload a video. And if you're not new, welcome back. So guys, I know my last video was really short. It was like 9 minutes and 30 seconds. I know it was really short, but like I'm trying to fit in doing my videos into school at the same time. I record like almost every Friday. So like when I come up from class, I have to sleep. But now because of my videos, I can't sleep. So I have to like rush through everything. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I hope you guys like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends. Don't forget to watch my other videos. Let's get into today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of how I found out I was a side chick. I'm not being nice. <laughs> so guys, so I'm not going to use any real names, obviously, but like the things that are happening to me in this story are real. Where do I start from? <laughs> okay, so a long, 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 long time ago, okay, I used to go for this function every weekend and at this function, I had a lot of female friends, right? So I used to shoot the female friends instead of chilling with my male friends. You know, I barely even had male friends because I just started attending this function. Every time I go to this function, there would be this one guy, like, I'd always see this one guy but I would not like I would see him but I would not see him right because every time I look at him he's like turning in a corner or something something like that well, I was kind of interested but I wasn't going to ask my friends who he was because I don't need to be like mm, no babe like <laughs> I didn't ask about him I didn't bother about him but I would see this guy every other weekend like yay pause back I would see him every other weekend so fast forward into all those peepings and seeing each other one time my cousin had come to my house and i know my mom's watching this right now so like i'm so sorry but this is the reality <laughs> my cousin had come to my house and my parents didn't, my parents never used to allow me to have my phone on, like like monday through friday i would not be allowed to use my phone but weekends i could use my phone and i mean like when it's a thursday and i have no homework and uh, i've got no exam i'm very bored i don't like watching tv so i want to use my phone right like i want to use facebook and twitter and whatsapp hello so my cousin had come over and she had a phone so i asked her like i begged her like if i could use her phone to log into instagram so i logged into instagram and i was checking my posts and whatnot and i actually left it logged on and i went to shower but when i came back from showering my cousin had sent this random guy a friend request and she's like oh my god Lombe, i found you this boy i found you this nice guy blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, why would you do that? Why would you just send a random... I don't send guys friend requests. Like, why would you do that? But it so happened that this guy sent a friend request was the guy from the function. <laughs> I'm going to call him... Chimemwe. Ah! Chimemwe. <laughs> guys, my friend from Ghana, she likes the name Chimemwe. So if you're Chimemwe, she likes your name. Just comment down below. Oh, hey, I'm Chimemwe. <laughs> I'm going to call him David, okay? So this guy... This guy David. Guys, this guy was nice. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like David was like he was not was. I'm gonna put emphasis was was <laughs> but at that time David was nice guys. So I was very blind, so I thought he was nice. But you know, I was young. If he was now I would never have touched that. But anyway. Oh! David had accepted the follow request like guys within min like five minutes he accepted the request and he sent me a request as well and i accepted the follow request and i was like okay before he had accepted 
I was like, who's this guy? You know, I was trying to figure out who he was. So I started going through his pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I think this is David. Like, I, I think this is the guy from the function. And she's like, for real? And I'm like, yeah. I think he DM'd me. I think. So we'll just say he DM'd me. So he had texted me and he's like, hi, I think I know you from somewhere. And I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's me, yeah. <laughs> But now I'm like, yeah, it's me, da da da. So in the middle of our conversation, my cousin says, Lombe, see this guy is nice, Lombe. And she's like, Lombe, I, I bet you can't even get this guy in two weeks. And I was like, hello, do you not know me? I'm Lombe, hello, I will get this guy. So we had made a bet, like, I'm going to get this guy in two weeks, right? And yeah, that was the bet. So I had been trying the hardest first two weeks to like, get to know this guy and try to get him to like me so that I can cuff him and then tell my friend, tell my cousin that I managed and then like, you know, here's where it starts to go down. Basically, David and I would talk every single day, like, and every time I would go to the function, I would meet him there and like would talk and everything, but he was really, I don't know why he used to act really shy, like, guys, that's the first red flag, hello? Every time I walk with David, guys, he wants to walk like, like we, he would not want to stand near me like he was walking like very fast and I'm like bruh why are you doing that like <laughs> but every time I see David with his friends guys this guy would be like, like David would look away <laughs> when he sees me and he's with his friends he would look away just remember that first red flag he didn't want to see like he didn't want people to see me with him and I I didn't realize it until now so Two weeks had passed. I managed to cop this guy. Hello, I'm Lombe. I mean, hello. <laughs> and I told my cousin that, you know what, actually I managed to so give me more money. <laughs> but instead of me stopping that stupid relationship from the time two weeks passed, I started enjoying it now. And it ended up being like almost a whole month. Like it must have been like three weeks and like three and a half weeks or something. So due to a situation, which is very confidential, I can't mention it. Just know something made us break up and it was like, we had both agreed on it, but I was like, I was so sad, guys. Like, I was like, no, man. So we stopped talking for a while, but then he said, we started talking again. He was still, guys, he was still chatting to me. He was still romancing me. And I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was enjoying the vibes. Like, hello, I was enjoying the vibes. And then one time I was scrolling through Instagram. I was just randomly scrolling to Instagram. This girl had posted a picture. It was just a random picture of a hand, right? And the hand had a ring on it. And I said, I know that hand. <laughs> and let me just be honest, I'm so like I'm so good with people's fingers. Like I remember people's fingers so well. I said, hmm, that must be David's hand. <laughs> but I didn't say anything. I was like, ah, you know what? It's okay. But the thing is, this hand had a ring and I know that ring and I've seen this ring and I know that David wears that ring but I refused I was like nah you know nah man this is probably some other guy like so I like I saw that and it kind of triggered me but I was like ah you know it's just a hand <laughs> some days later I went for this function again and I was chilling with David's friends and my friends as well but I was having a conversation with David's friends about something else nothing to do with David and I don't know how he ended up being part of the conversation but he was oh I actually remember so, so David's friends were like ah guys have you seen David's babe I said <laughs> so you know I'm assuming now maybe David is talking about me you know what I'm saying maybe they're talking about but guys it wasn't me no. hey they ask you how you are you just have that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it <laughs> so i was like oh david david's babe and they're like yeah david has a girlfriend you don't i said okay this is my dreams my dream come true is a lie i had to like act very truth about it because because everyone knew like me and david was over but like guys this boy was talking to me in the day this guy was calling me sweet sugar cupcake everything in the dm but he had a girlfriend so i was like so i texted him and i said um hello hello you have a girlfriend and he's like no no i don't have then i remember that picture of his hand and guys it was his hand for real i was in denial like i was like no that's not his hand guys when you see something when you see your boyfriend's hand on instagram and it's not you posting it <laughs> just know either you're a side chick or you're, you're not even any of the chicks <laughs> yeah that's just somewhere and i was like you know you have a girlfriend so if you have a girlfriend don't waste my time guys it's long story short not to waste your time this guy told me this is not his girlfriend for a whole 
like guys a whole five months guys hey! <laughs> I wasted five months of my life no, sure no. because this guy said, no, I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. One time his girlfriend posted a whole picture of them together. They had gone out on a date, posted a picture of them together. And I showed him, I was like, ah, your girlfriend has posted you. He got to the point where we were sharing his boy. Like me and her were aware that we're in a polygamy. Like we're sharing him. And like, like she would even text me like, oh yeah, you know, today we went out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so cute. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, your giggles are so cute, my guys. <laughs> guys, that was my man, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and every time I'll tell him, post me. He will refuse, guys. Like, this guy will not post me. So, in a nutshell, I'll, I got out of the situation, but like, guys, don't be a side chick. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just gonna give you brief points on how you know that you yeah, a side chick, okay? <laughs> Number one, if this person does not want to be seen with you in public, yeah, side chick. <laughs> We're crossing the road in public, you have to walk on the left side of the road, he walks on the right, then you're yeah, a side chick. Number two, if only your friends, you, your friends, and him are the only ones who know about you guys, then <laughs> you're yeah, a side chick. Even for boys too. Boys, if a girl denies you, hmm. Read, go read her chat. <laughs> She's denying you. <laughs> When I was working with David, one time I had grabbed David's phone by mistake. Okay, it wasn't by mistake, but <laughs> guys, David went from zero to hundred. Hey, bring my phone. Ah, oh, my phone. I'm like, David, chill, daddy. Like, guys, if he refuses to hold his phone, yeah, it's actually. He then let you touch his phone. He then let you meet his friends. Guys, if you've met his mom, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. If you met his mother, it doesn't mean nothing. You will still be the side chick. The mother will even know that you're the side. If he's got a different attitude in front of his friends, like in front of your mutual friends, he doesn't want you to hold him. Like, you know, like, like you're just one of the mandem, then you're his side. In front of your friends, you say, yeah, you're the mandem. When you're alone, you're lovers. No. No. It's not you. It's not you, it's the wife. You're the maid. If he saved you as your name, not even a full name, abbreviations. One time, his girlfriend, guys, his main chick, asked for a screenshot of his chat. <laughs> and we were, him and I were in panic mode, guys. Oh my god, oh my god. I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? So, guys, he cleared out our nicknames. You know how, like, Messenger, you, you change the, the your nicknames, then it will send a message that Lombe changed the nickname. This dumbass forgot to send a text after he changed the nickname, so it showed that so and so changed the nickname and he sent a screenshot to her and she guys she came she came with a stampede in my inbox i did not even open that inbox <laughs> you get my point if he says you something else and every time he's just removing and putting back he just know at the madam is holding the phone anyway that's all i have right now if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up because i know my family has watched it to the end i'm sorry but i just have to tell the truth girls don't let boys manipulate you okay I was dumb, I was stupid, but don't let boys manipulate you. Even you say once, don't manipulate boys, go to punish you. Anyway, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and share this video as well. And I will see you in my next video.